Hello everyone, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com and recently we unveiled an app that we were working on for quite some time called Audio Reader and this is by Goody Reader of course because it's ours and this is the Onyx Books Note 10.3 and this thing has quad-core processor, uh, side-loading capabilities for apps and stereo speakers so why we wanted to kind of put our app on this one is because really it well, I mean, a lot of e-readers don't have audio anymore, so really this was one of the few we could think about that has, um, you know, Android side-loading capabilities and the ability to play audio inherently. We don't have to plug in any dongles or anything like that. So you can see everything boots up immediately. It's very quick, even on an e-reader, but this, granted, this is one of the quickest e-readers we've ever used. I found them all shaken, as was natural. The squire was sitting down, as white as a sheet, thinking of the harm he had led us to, the good soul, and one of the six forecastle hands was little better. So basically, yeah, we have a list of um, languages here. You can see English alone because primarily our audience is English um, speaking. You can you have about uh, 13 or so uh, languages there just devoted to English. You even have um, Australian English, British English, and Indian English if you want it read back to you in a certain accent. You do have um, multiple options for all, uh, two options for Japanese, uh, two options for Dutch, Polish, actually four for Polish. Yeah, so many different languages here. So if you load in a book, that is um, uh, respective to that language, you can, you know, read that language. If you just have a nothing but Hangul and a Korean language, a Korean book, it'll it'll read it. So you can do copies, highlights, defines, all that kind of stuff. I mean, this is a fully fledged e-reading application. You don't have to use it for its audio capabilities. You can use it for uh, just reading books. So you do have the ability to change fonts, uh, change line spacing, margins, all that text align, and you know you can use the little slider bars. Of course, the brightness slider bar on the e-reader will not work because it's trying to find the brightness setting in the device, and primarily only smartphones have that. Just showing you that even on an e-ink device with some uh, audio capabilities, you can fully fledgedly use our uh, audio reader e-reader. Um, depending on the device, obviously your uh, experience may vary. If you're re if you're listening to this on a uh, later pocketbook, you know the Touch HD 2 versions uh, realm of e-readers, you're going to need the dongle and you know the 3.5 mil headphone jack and stereo speakers uh, separate. But this thing has it all embedded into it. As you can see on the back, we have stereo speakers, which where you were hearing it from. So for GoodyReader.com and a quick e-ink uh, exhibition of our audio reader app. This is Peter.